I'm trying to post videos at least once a week. What more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? <laughs> Probably on Mondays. Mondays, Fridays. Probably on Mondays. I'm doing, I'm doing Mondays. Anyways, I've been getting a lot of questions on my workout schedule, what I do, how I train. So, so I'm gonna go over my workout schedule. Balancing a full-time job can be hard if you're trying to stay stay in shape and have a consistent workout schedule so my day usually starts early i start crap my alarm my day usually starts early i have a seriously long list of alarms let me show you some days i might wake up at four but i have an alarm till four five six seven it's kind of it's kind of serious it's kind of bad i have an alarm every five minutes so i'm never late i can never be late to work well I can never be too late. Let's put it that way. Yeah, so my day usually starts early. I wake up early. The thing about waking up early is the earlier you wake up, the more you can get done. Your day is actually longer if you wake up early. That's like a trick. Is it? But yeah, the earlier you wake up, you have more hours in the day to work with. So I always try to get the workout with first get out the way, then the whole day is mine. I get to do whatever I want to do. You have more hours in the day. I wouldn't recommend having a million alarms. That just works for me. Hey, whatever. Monday is the first day, so I always try to go hard on the first day at least. I probably would train upper body, bench press, decline bench, uh, work on my chest a little bit, cable iron cross, upper body workouts. I might hit some triceps that day, uh, but I always try to start my week off with upper body. Upper body is easier for me. You know, Monday is the day that you're recovering from the weekend. You might have a long weekend. You might went out, ate, drank, whatever. So Monday, I try to do something that's a little bit easier to get myself going throughout the week. So I choose my favorite workouts on Monday just to get started. Of course, always end it off with cardio. I try to do cardio whenever I do go to the gym because some days that I miss going to the gym, I kind of make up for that. So. Whenever I can do cardio, I will do cardio. So that's Monday. Every other day, I always try to do the opposite part. I always divide my day between upper body and lower body. So Tuesdays, I would train my leg. So those are your, your, those are your squats, your different types of squats, your front squats, power cleans, deadlifts, leg extensions, leg curls, all the leg workouts pretty much are, are for the next day. So it's good to always rest your body part a day before you work it out again. So that's why I switch between upper body and lower body. Upper body one day, lower body the next day. Abs. I train my abs every day. When you're starting, it's good to do it every other day, but I've got to the point where I feel comfortable training it every day. I don't go intense every day, but some days I go more intense than others. I, I probably do a little more on some days. Wednesdays, upper body again. I already gave myself one day rest of my upper body, so now I'm going back to upper body again. This is when I work out my shoulders. I do some arm workouts, bicep curls. I work on my lats, a little bit on my back. The whole shebang. Thursdays. By Thursday, we already counted three days of working out consistently. By Thursday, when I wake up in the morning, I might be a little bit sore or tired, so that might be my rest day most times. That's when I wanna chill, eat good that day, let my body recover from three days of straight working out. Friday, so Friday is coming back after a day of rest. Gotta go hard, or just go something light. Friday might be a day, I might have an event, or I might have something to do, so I might just do light cardio or abs like I would've did on Thursday. This is a small little workout. If I have enough time, I might train my legs, because Wednesday was when I did my upper body so Friday 
is just a light workout. Saturday, I work almost every day. If I work on Saturday, I still get my workout done. So Saturday, I would do squats. I, I would do leg workouts. You know, I hit some hack squats, leg extensions. Pretty much the same leg workout I had on Tuesday, I just repeat again. So I try to hit my legs twice a week at least. I don't like training my legs that much. I'm more of an upper body guy. It's a lot easier for me to do my upper body, but I try to get some lower body workouts at least twice a week. Sunday, so I use Sundays like a fake Monday or a pre-Monday, like a pre-Monday workout, if that makes any sense. So it kind of sets up my week. Does that make any sense? I use Sundays to prepare for my Mondays. Because Mondays always suck. At least for some people, or most people. Sometimes I have my basketball game on Sunday. I use that as my workout. Nothing too crazy. I use Sundays to kind of start my week. If I have a okay workout on Sunday, or any workout at all, it helps me start off my Monday well. I won't be as fatigued or tired when I start on Monday. Consistency is key. I always try to be consistent. Make sure your diet is right, because all this stuff is useless if you're eating bad. So get your diet right, eat clean. I'm not saying eat great. You know, everybody is gonna be bad sometimes. Bad food tastes good. We all know that. I love bad food. It's delicious. I love food, period. It's delicious. So you wanna have your days, have your cheat day. Cheat, but don't make it a cheat week. Don't make it a cheat month. Don't make it a cheap year. Don't make it a cheap decade. Really. I work almost every day, so finding a balance between work and working out is critical to your success on how you want to get in shape. So I try to plan my days accordingly. If I'm working in the morning, I probably would work out at night. If I have an afternoon schedule for work, then I'll try to work out in the morning. Typically, my day starts early to get the work out of the way, and I'm ready. If I feel good, I feel energized, I feel like I can take over the world. So exercising does make you feel better, it makes you feel good. You just feel great, you just feel good. You just feel, you just feel good. Who doesn't want to feel good? Who doesn't want to feel good? Who doesn't want to look good? So, I mean, you don't just do it for aesthetics. Do it for yourself, do it for your health. Make time every day, at least a few days a week, you know, to exercise, to, you know, take care of yourself, this is you. You only get one body, you only get one life. You want life to live. You just take care of yourself, you know, is you. You don't have another body. You only get one of these, so take care of yourself. Be good work out. So make working out a challenge. You can work out with a friend, a uh, co-worker, you know, you guys could, you guys have similar schedules. Set your schedules together. Make it a challenge. You know, make it a make it a challenge where you and your friend could, you know, try to get a new goal. So it's a lot of fun or easier to you can work out with a friend. Challenge yourself, you know, challenge yourself to, you know, to get to where you want to be. Your friends could keep you motivated. Try to find things that motivate you. If it's a video, if it's music, I always have music at the gym. You know, music helps me stay motivated. You're not always gonna feel motivated, but you have to stay committed to what you wanna do and how much you wanna change. So don't don't procrastinate, don't say, okay, I'll start tomorrow. Start today. Start today. Start right now. See you soon. Hey pharmacist, and I'm out. Peace.